Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about case fans. Now, when I recently built my budget gaming rig, I wanted to try and keep things as cool as possible, especially when I was using the overclocked Pentium chip. So on top of the Corsair Carbide's included 120mm fan, I added an additional two Aerocool Shark 1500rpm fans, one at the front of the case to pull air in, and another at the back to exhaust the air out. My thinking behind this was to try and get as much cool air into the case as I could possibly handle, and as much hot air out of the case. Now, after about a month of this, to be perfectly honest with you, it's kind of great, and especially if there's other people in the room while they're using the computer, it is loud. But thankfully, Aerocool includes voltage reduction cables. Now these cables basically they go between your motherboard and the fan cable and they reduce the voltage that is supplied to the fans and in turn reduce the speed that the fans rotate at. Now initially I was against this. Like I said I wanted to pull as much air in and as much air out and although the claim is that it reduces the noise of these fans by half it also significantly reduces the airflow. It drops it down from the standard 83 cubic feet a minute when it's running at 1500 rpm to about 33 cubic feet per minute. But nevertheless, I decided it would be worthwhile to investigate. To run these tests, we used Firestrike Extreme's stress test in three different scenarios. First of all, when both fans were running at 1500 rpm. Secondly, with only the intake fan at 1500 rpm, leaving the exhaust at 800. And finally, when both fans are at 800 rpm. So as we can see by the results, at higher RPMs the fans certainly do keep the case a little bit cooler, but is it really worth it? I mean for the few degrees that we're actually keeping the case cooler, the noise of the case is absolutely night and day. I never thought that simply halving the speed of these fans would create such a big difference, but the desktop PC, it's now near silent. So for the foreseeable future, I'm certainly going to be keeping these low power, low RPM fans in place. And I would highly recommend anybody that has a slightly noisy gaming rig to maybe give it a go. It's worth a try and you can easily monitor the temperatures for yourself. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.